Uh, hi YouTube, if you're joining from there, I'm about to record my podcast episode, but I know that a lot of content creators release on both. What is this called? <laughs> both, both channels, both avenues. So I'm here, I have my notes that I'm gonna kind of talk through, and at the same time, I'm gonna record it on Anchor, and my laptop audio quality is not as good, so that's why I started doing this, because I got a nice new camera. Um, yeah, that's what we're doing. And hopefully I can detach the audio and record it, so we're gonna get right into it. But basically, if you're new here, uh, this is kind of my Mindfulness in Minutes, is what I've titled this podcast. It's a collection of short daily clips that are supposed to help you and me, really, because as I'm writing them, I figure out a lot of stuff about myself. Uh, but it's supposed to kind of help with figuring out things in your routine or your life or things that... I don't know, just get you thinking about practicing mindfulness and practicing, you know, becoming the best version of yourself throughout your days. So welcome. Let's get into the podcast. Okay, hi everyone. Welcome back to Mindfulness in Minutes. I just want to do a quick recap on yesterday, uh, but also you should definitely go listen to it if you haven't already. But basically, I just discussed how difficult it is in today's society to embrace periods of stagnation and why it's crucial to allow yourself that break from growth. Um, as I'm kind of just coming out of a low energy period myself and I'm working on these this rebuilding of my routines, I thought it's an applicable topic to today. And for me, I find that I function really well with routine and habits. Um, I enjoy having flexibility, but I also don't think that I really have the self-discipline to allow myself that flexibility very often. And with that being said, it kind of depends on what the task is. Um, for work, an example, content creation, like I've been doing for the past few days in a row, there's like a need to have that flexibility, right? Because you know certain things depend on weather conditions and energy levels and all of this stuff. Um, yeah, so there's this part of me that's really you know, enjoys having the flexibility in my routine, but also this part of me that's really, really comfortable with procrastination. So I'm trying to find the balance of what I can kind of shuffle around because without clear deadlines, I don't think that I would get anything done. And right now I'm kind of trying to wrap my head around um, consistency versus flexibility or, and this is probably like the best option of of how to put it, like conjoining the two. So having a balance between what you can be consistent on or what you should be consistent on and what you're more f able to be more flexible on in your day to day. Um, obviously there's, you know, some necessary, necessary consistency in life and lines of work with examples like, you know, trying to grow on social media, having a consistent income to pay bills and afford groceries. And there's certain um, healthy habits that kind of compound when you do them daily, like meditating and working out, where you're gonna get the, the greatest benefit when you're consistently working on those. And it's not something you just do once in a while. Um, so, you know, flexibility, like I just mentioned, is, you know, essential for free time and pursuing hobbies and accounting for unpredictable, you know, weather conditions or circumstances or stuff like that that might come up that you're not necessarily as prepared to deal with in the moment. Um, so I tend to use flexibility in my day to day as a means to push certain things to points later in the day or kind of shift my priorities on a need be basis. So for example, um, yesterday morning, I intended to work out before starting my, my quote unquote work day. I had a content creation day, so I didn't have any strict, you know, working hours. So I had the flexibility there, but also the option to work out consistently in the morning when I try to work out or to have the flexibility because I wasn't physically scheduled anywhere to push that to a different point in my day. Uh, so yesterday morning, I'm thinking about working out and 9.30 kind of rolls around and I had already kind of fatigued my willpower to the point where I was, you know, making a lot of excuses as to why I was able to be flexible with my 
my workout schedule instead of consistent and kind of push it to later in the day. Um, but the thing is that for me personally, when I don't do the tasks that, uh, that I really enjoy doing that I know are going to help me, it just starts to weigh so much on my mental state. Like when I work out in the morning is I get a, a big boost throughout the entire day. And when I push working out, instead of getting a boost, I, I like constantly have this reminder or this like pinging, I guess I'll, I'd call it, um, in my brain that's like, hey, I know you're doing stuff. I know you're being productive, but you still got to work out. And so my, my, my brain is constantly on this wave of having to make that decision over and over and over again. Like the faster I get it done in my day, because I know it's something that I should be doing day to day. So the quicker, earlier in my day that I get it done, the less mental energy I have to spend saying no to doing that task. Because when I don't, throughout the day, 3 p.m. hits. Hey, you should probably work out. Not right now, brain. Got some daylight hours, still shooting content. 4 p.m., okay, what about now? Nope, you consistently are like having to deal with that. Um, and like it comes at the worst times. Like if I decide I'm gonna work out later, I'm, I'm planning on doing it after certain tasks, but it's just like always kind of repeating there. So it kind of leads me to be chaotic and disorganized. And obviously there's this large part of me that wants to deal with those tasks because I know how they make me feel. But it also, sometimes when I push it and I make it into a more flexible task, it just like is not a good time to do it when it pops back up in my brain. And so in the consistency frame, I want to have stable working hours despite having a flexible job or trying to shift myself into a job with flexible hours. I know I work well with routine. So for content creation, I ideally want to be working you know, a set number of hours. That way my body just knows when it's time to do things. Uh, and so then it, like in this example of yesterday, um, th I had flexibility in working out, but not necessarily a ton around shooting content because I restrict was restricted to when the weather would comply. And working out I could do at any point. But because my consistency with working out in general is lacking, then it just kept kind of popping to the forefront. And so what I'm trying to incorporate over the next few weeks for myself and what I think might be beneficial for you um, would be kind of taking notes of tasks that you consider to be flexible versus ta tasks that you consider to be consistent in your life. So what this is going to look like for me, and you can obviously do this in your own way, um, is just kind of keeping a little note section on my phone or in my journal with certain tasks and putting a little C or an F beside them on things that I consider to be flexible and things I consider, um, you know, are more important to be consistent on and develop a routine around. And with that, my aim is um, to just kind of keep notes on flexible tasks and how they make you feel when you do them flexibly or if it's something that you should do consistently. For me, I think I need to start working out consistently and not give myself that flexibility because it is really mentally draining. And then, you know, vice versa with consistent tasks. Does this feel good when I do it consistently at this time, at this hour with, you know, structure? Or would this task be done better kind of uh, on a need be basis. And then I can kind of analyze both these consistent and flexible tasks and supercharge, I'm gonna call it my routine, around certain tasks that I'm like, okay, you know, I'm doing X, Y, Z by 9 a.m. every single day, these are the tasks that I will have done or days that I'm sleeping in. No matter what, in the first hour of my day, I'm doing these tasks. These are tasks that make me feel really good when I'm consistent about them. And then again, when it gets to those unpredictable times or times when you might need to reshift, rearrange stuff, then you know which tasks you can be a little bit more flexible on and allow yourself a little bit more grace with those. 
And so that's all I have for today. I will see you all tomorrow. And you can check out my socials and share this podcast with friends because 2022, fully freelance, full-time income online. Say it with me or say it for me or share it with your friends so that it happens. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments if you what you think about flexibility versus consistency. would love to hear from you. And other than that, have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.